the oil tank in there for the for the oil for this stove. There's another stove at the other end. All sorts of lanterns that they had. Uh, closets all all over, including a bathroom in there. <laughs> all sorts of small lanterns and there were some more they've got some more lanterns and, and lights in here including ones like this yeah that's heavy that big one oh, that's a ladder. oh there's where they used to sit to watch over how the train was doing one facing front, one facing back. These were the messages. These, these is how, how they communicated between the train and the uh, station agent, because they didn't have uh, radio phones in those days. They just attached a message to here, the station agent, and he'd come out like this and hang and hang it out. And as the uh, train went by, the uh, They'd catch it in their arm and get the message, and then throw off the throw off the uh, message container to at the next station. And any message that they had, that the station master would uh, would uh, get on the telegraph telegraph ahead, so that uh, they could communicate between the train. It's the only communications they had. Here was another form, and this was a string. Again, all they did was catch it on the way through, and they tied the message to the string. This was the kitchen unit. They had a small, they had a small uh, burner up here. There was a fridge down down in this area. They don't have it now anymore. This was the old water container. But they've modernized it now. Here, here are another. There's another water container, which included the cups, and that was for fuel of some sort. Here are some more lamps, lanterns. Back here's the old stove. Here's the here's the here's where they ate the uh, train crew ate their meals. And back there in that in that in that cupboard back there is the uh, water uh, tank. If you want to open that door. So it's quite a self-contained living accommodation. Down here was the cupboards. Two, three feet, two people. I imagine four, four could have lived there. But they didn't have to bother having any beds. Oh, they even have coffee, they even have coffee uh, holders up there. equipment that was used on the, on the railroad. There's some jacks. That was a shovel for leveling out underneath the lever leveling out leveling out underneath the ties and for uh, distributing the crushed rock under the ties so that it could be leveled out. This, I think, is a rail gauge. Yeah, it's a rail gauge. To make sure that the rails were were all the way the same distance apart so that the train wouldn't fall apart, fall through. The track crew would measure it that way and uh, and then either jack, jack the rail in or jack it out, depending on which way it needed to go, and then stuff the... Stuff the uh, crushed rock underneath the ties and underneath the rails to, to hold it in place and uh, and nail it into place again. Emergency kit, empty, but that's what that was for. And this was the they even had, I don't believe it, they have safety belts on the 
on the riding chairs here. At, was there one at the far end? I didn't notice. Not up there, but at the far end. No, there is just one this one. Modern chair. 